Welcome to this Stair Tailored. I'm Sarah Powell from the University of Texas at Austin, and today we're working on adding integers using two color counters. So we're going to do two problems here today. We're going to do 4 plus negative 5, and then we'll do negative 2 plus 6. So I'm going to show what this looks like using two color counters. So let's go ahead and get started. So here are the two problems that we are doing today. 4 plus negative 5 is the first problem. So let's focus right now on this problem. Now I'm going to use two color counters to so show the addition of this problem. Now when I use the two color counters, the yellow side is going to be used to represent positive integers, and the red side is going to be used to represent negative integers. So I'm going to go ahead and move my counters down here, and then I'm going to set up this problem. So I'm starting with four. And this 4 is positive because there's no negative symbol directly preceding it. So I'm going to go ahead and put out four yellow counters. And I can arrange them any other way. Anyway, I'm just going to arrange them just like that. Now to that, I'm adding negative 5. So I'm going to go ahead and get negative 5 uh, counters that show negative 5. And then I'm going to add them to my positive 4. Now, I am not finished with this problem because I have to figure out the sum. And in order to do that, I'm going to get one of the sides of this problem, either the positive side or the negative side. I want that side to equal zero. So what we use here is we use zero pairs. So if I have a positive and a negative, those equal zero. They are a zero pair. And so I'm going to move them off of my adding space. I have another positive and a negative, another zero pair. I have another zero pair, and I have another zero pair. So when I started with positive four and added negative five, my sum is negative one. So that's how we solved this first problem right here. Now let's look at this problem, negative two plus six. So I start with negative two. Remember, my red side of the counters represents negative integers. And I'm going to add positive six. So I'll go ahead and bring in my six counters there. And notice they're yellow, they all represent a positive amount. Now I'm going to get either the negative side or the positive side here to equal zero using zero pairs. There's a positive and a negative, those equal zero. Here's another positive and a negative, those also equal zero. So now when I have negative two plus six, my sum is positive four. So those were just two examples there of how we can use those two color counters to help students understand what it means when we add positive and negative integers.